Hi, so we're going to work on another uh, watercolor doodle today in the same Hobonichi notebook that I've been using for this whole entire series. Um, I hope you like this one and stick around for it. So as prior, I am using uh, the Hobonichi notebook. That's a relatively new Hobonichi invention. It's uh, truly just a blank notebook with a Tomoe River paper. Um, it's cheaper than the regular Tetra with all the monthly and daily layouts. Um, the paper is the same and uh, it's in A5 size, so the same as the cousin, Hobonichi cousin size. I am planning on going into it as my uh, bullet journal as soon as my current bullet journal runs out, but it's still going to be a while, so for right now I'm kind of pre-decorating it with these doodles. I usually make them um, due to the ability of watercolor to be quite, you know, watery. <laughs> and pale, I usually kind of tend to lean in that direction or just make the whole um, design more of a line work so that I could easily uh, write over them because in my current um, A6 Hobonichi if I um, draw something or paint something on the page there is really no real estate to go in and do something different um, other than try to write over that. Uh, in this one, I'm actually not quite sure if I'm going to try to write over or write around them. It's going to be an interesting challenge once I get to those pages and we'll have to figure it out. But for right now, I'm just trying to not worry too much about it. And so you can see me actually putting quite a lot of pigment on the page. This um, painting is not at all translucent. I'm trying to really show the bright um, color of the poinsettia and uh, well hopefully I pronounce it right I never know how to say it right poinsettia uh, poinsettia probably <laughs> well anyway so um, yes I'm trying to show the color and I cannot quite get the color from the two that I have in the palette so rather than mixing it um, on a additional, you know, mixing palette, I'm using straight up the page and letting those two inaccurate colors kind of blend into each other and mix on the page, um, getting me closer to what my actual poinsettia looks like uh, currently on the table. Um, so I'm trying to also copy it kind of from memory because I see it on the table but it's not in front of me it's in another room so that's also a bit of a challenge but hey you like challenges and I actually quite like how it worked out maybe the shape of the leaves it's not you know perfect maybe I would want it a little bit more sort of balanced uh, but I think it's a little bit uh, true <laughs> to how it actually looks if you look at an individual stamp there and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this experience and uh, stay tuned for some more watercolor doodles in the future <laughs>